Okay, so question number five is to draw the products of the complete hydrolysis of a ketal. Draw all the products of the reaction. Okay, so we start off with the ketal. and it reacts with water in acidic solution. So that means in the solution, we have H3O+, plus, which is protonated water. So, or the hydronium ion. So what happens first is one of the lone pairs from our reactant will come in and deprotonate this hydronium ion, forming water, to get the following intermediate. So now we have a protonated oxygen that will have a positive charge, like so. And to relieve the positive charge, one of these oxygens will come down to form a double bond and kick off this whole group entirely. making one of our products a three carbon long alcohol group. So this is one of our products, which is propanol. Okay, so after this propanol is formed, or propanol, we still have left over a double bonded oxygen that has a positive charge and this kind of like side group here like that. So from here another water molecule And come in and attack the carbon beside the double bond, like so, and brings the pair of electrons up to neutralize that oxygen. So now, this is now a neutral oxygen. And we have a water group that has a positive charge, like so. And to relieve that positive charge, another water molecule can come in and deprotonate, take one of the hydrogens, to give us this intermediate. Where we have a newly formed alcohol group. Like so. So now the lone pairs on this oxygen so 
Now it's a similar mechanism to how we started. This will come in and take one of the hydrogens and a hydronium ion. and have a positive charge now. And then similarly the double the lone pairs from the alcohol group can come down and kick off this entire molecule entirely to get our second product. So I'm going to show it coming off up here, which is a two-membered or a two-carbon long alcohol. Which is ethanol. And our other final group will now have a, oops, double bonded oxygen that is protonated. And this has a positive charge. And now water can come in. To. Deprotonate it. Bringing this down. And we're left with our final product which is this ketone group. So this is 2 butanone or butanone. Okay, so this is the complete hydrolysis of this uh, ketal. So you can see that it's like a long mechanism, but it kind of gets uh, redundant and protonating and then deprotonating. But you can see our final products would be propanol, ethanol, and 2-butanone. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, when a ketal is treated with aqueous acid, a cleavage reaction results in a ketone and two alcohols. Scheme 1 shows the mechanism by which these products are formed in the case of the given reaction in the problem. Okay, so we have the protonation of one of the oxygens. Okay, this comes down to form propanol. Water will come in, get deprotonated. And then the same thing happens again. And we get ethanol and 2-butanone. So one of the carbonyl groups was protonated by the hydronium ion, making it more electrophilic. This is followed by the ejection of a leaving group, which is alcohol, and the formation of a double bond. Upon the loss of the leaving group, water attacks the molecule via nucleophilic reaction, and then it acted as a proton acceptor by abstracting one of the hydrogen atoms to produce the hemiacetal form of the molecule. After that, the carbonyl group was protonated and hence ejected from the molecule as alcohol. Lastly, the water molecule abstracts another proton to form the ketone. Okay, so they summed up all the products. So this solution is correct.